There is some footage courtesy of Ilya's Instagram page. This is what happened. It's a quick clip. Take a look. All right, so there you have it. Kind enough to be joined right now by Ilya Teporia, who is fighting on Saturday against Jai Herbert, but was involved in that situation. <laughs> Ilya, como estas? Muy bien, amigo. Glad to talk to you again. How yes, are you? Yes, uh, it is my pleasure. Thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. I know it's uh, it's been a long day, long couple of days for you over there. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, can you tell us your side of the story? Why did that happen yesterday at the hotel? So it didn't happen because he told me something yesterday. It comes from a long time ago. He was arguing with uh, one of my closest friends, uh, with Kuram once in, in Twitter and he posts like, uh, now I understand why Russia destroyed Georgia because you are dumps. And it makes my, my blood boil. You know, when I saw, I was like surprised. I didn't believe when I, when I saw that tweet because in 2008, I was living in, in, in Georgia when, when the war happens, you know, and it was a very difficult time for me, for my family, for, uh, all my friends from my country, you know, a lot of innocent people, kids were dying in that that war. And see, see how someone is joking about that. It makes my blood boil. So I uh, I text to him. I, I don't remember what, 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 it, what, what I tweet. And when they give me the fight in London, he texts me like three weeks ago, like, I can't wait to see you in London. We'll see if you have the boss to, to tell me everything you, you text me in Twitter. Bullshit. And I come here the first day when, when I come to the hotel. I come out. I finish my interviews. I, I was walking into the hotel and I saw him. And he looked at me like a nice guy and he wanted to, sh to, to, sh to shake my hand. You know, he, come to me. he, he didn't come, but he, he looked at me like nice, you know. I threw the bottle to his face. He he threw it back to me. I, I don't know what. I, I I slip and I give him a proper right hand, and it's there's where you have to video yourself. Everyone saw the video. You know what happened. It, so it's it, it's hard. You have to to, to 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 Ukraine flag. You know. Can you imagine if I start to make some some jokes about the war where the childrens are dying, but people are suffering. You know. You can talk about that, you know. A hundred percent. So this is what. Right? Um, the, the the conversations that you were saying you were having were those private? Like, were you guys DMing each other? Where he said, "I can't wait to see you to see if you say," that, or was that public? No, 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 no. I, I I didn't have like private message with dumps like him. And I saw his interview today. That he was saying like, uh, "Ilya is nobody. He's small. Something like this. Who the fuck is him? Mm. Who the fuck is him? This guy have just." one fight in, in the UFC and yes, maybe I'm not so tall, but I need just one punch and I can put my balls on his forehead. So I, 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 I if he gets to win, I really want to fight with him. Even if he didn't get to win, I want to fight him because of my people, because of me, you know, I want to take his head off. So, uh, you saw him, that was the first, like the, what we just saw there was the first time that you saw him. Yes. The first time, the and, first time. And, uh, you said, it, you threw a bottle at him, he threw one back, or the same bottle back, and then you threw a punch. Did it land? It was hard to tell from there. Did the punch land? And I, I, I thought I, I touched him in, in, in the shoulder. Or okay. In his hand. And were he you? Was, he was hard, but next time, next time, if I see him, right now, he, he's walking with security. He needs a security in his own country, you know? What were you hoping happened there? Like, were you ready to get into a fight with him? Because uh, I would imagine the UFC wouldn't have been too happy with that. Of course, I will be happy to. If they give me that fight, even that, that, that fight didn't mean anything for me. You know, like, uh, you know like, like a professional, he's not ranked. He has just a one fight in, in, in the UFC. He's fucking nobody. But I want to fight him. 
But no, like yesterday. A step what, back for me, but it doesn't matter. But yesterday at the hotel, what were you trying to accomplish? I was trying to take his head off. And he, he takes something like, it was like six against uh, versus me. And you can see in, in the video, my, 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 my coach was on his back making a coffee, a calm. He didn't even move, you know, no one touched him. My brother was separating me. Can you imagine if, if we, everyone go, go, go against him? He was alone. We all killed him. Um, he, he, go ahead. He should to be thankful with, with, with all my teammates because they separate me, you know. If not, he will be, I don't know, in the hospital right now. And and who was filming that? My filmmaker. Was it a coincidence that he happened to be filming you when you were walking up to him, or did you see him from afar and then he started filming? No, I didn't saw him. I always been in all my fights, I bring my filmmaker with me. And like a normal fight, fight week, you know, he was... Are recording everything and wow casualty we, i saw him and i take the opportunity to to throw a bottle to to his face so uh i saw obviously when you posted it and then i looked last night and there was like five hundred thousand views on this video on your instagram but then i looked later yeah. and it was gone is the video gone yeah because the yeah, the, the, the Instagram d delays the video, but the UFC is trying to recover the video. Instagram deleted it? Yeah, Instagram deleted Why? it. Why? I don't know why. I didn't understand. I don't know. That's weird. They did. I thought, yeah. I thought someone told you to take it down. No, never. I never will take the video back. Right. Um, did you get in trouble? Did the UFC get mad at you for this? No, he gets in trouble. He's walking in uh, with security right now in Toronto because he he's scared. He shit on his pants. But they didn't talk to you like, hey, we don't, we we don't want fights in the hotel, that sort of thing. No one spoke to you about this. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. They told me like, try to to stay professional. It's not uh, a very professional when you when you try to fight someone in the hotel. You know, I understand that part, but. I couldn't like control my emotions in that moment. You know, it's it's hard to see a, a, a motherfucker like like him and and don't say anything. Uh, we're showing the tweet here that I think uh, upset you most. Uh, he tweeted, "Lad, how stupid are these Georgians, man? No wonder the Russians terrorize their lives with uh, laughing yeah. emoji." That was the one you're referring to. Yeah, that's yeah. the one, man. He's fucking crazy. I. I I don't know, you know. No one in my family would te teach me to, to to say something like that to someone, you know. I don't know. Uh, what, That's not, not not a joke, you know. Right. Uh, because I would imagine what's happening right now in the Ukraine is is very reminiscent of what happened 14 years ago, right? Uh, it, 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 it's the, the same situation we were living in Georgia in 2008. Right. And you same situation. You were living there at the time. Yeah, I I, I was living there. Yeah. And uh, a, 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 a lot of guys from my class, my friends, I saw all of them, like how their parents were, were, were dying in, in, in the war and a crazy situations, you know. I can't even explain how the situation was on that times, you know. And when I hear someone uh, joking about that, you know, phew. Yeah, no laughing matter. Now, were you, uh, you, you were not at the media day today, right? No, I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't watch that. Uh, was that always the plan, or did they remove you from it? Mm, I think they they removed me. I think so. Okay. I, I, I uh, yeah, focusing on my trainings. I, I don't care. You know, if they want me there, I will be there. If not, I will be training, focusing on my fight. Um, you mentioned that he spoke about you a little bit. I just want to play for the audience what he said and get your response. Is that okay? Okay, here's here's Patty earlier today. Maybe someone will say this week they see what happened yesterday with you and Ilya, and they'll say, "Is Patty po focused on the fight? Is he is his priorities in the right place?" What would you say in response to that? Who's that? Oh, hand sanitizer boy. Is that who you mean? Oh yeah, um, that's his name from now on. Lad. Don't refer to him as his name. Lad. His name's hand sanitizer because it got bounced off his head. But 
I don't, I don't concern myself with none of that, lad. He wanted to come at me and try and act hard, and he got put in his place, lad. I was stood there on my own, and there was about six of them, and he'd done nothing. If he wanted to do something, he would have come round the table and tried to have a fight with me, but he didn't. He stood on the other side of the table because he knows what's good for him. Were you surprised in the moment that happened? Like, did it take you a second to realize what was going on and maybe get your guard up a little bit in terms of, um, you know, realizing where you were? Not really. He'd like, as soon as he come out of them double doors, lad, he snarled me. You know what I mean? So I looked at him and said, what? And then he walked towards me and I said, what's happening, lad? What? And then as he got close to me, he, um, he like, swiped a, swiped a slap at me. You know what I mean? And obviously, lad, if you raise your hand to me, I'm going to do something. So I wasn't punching him because I'm not breaking my hand and not being able to fight and earn my money on the weekend. So I stepped back and picked the hand sanitizer up and bounced it off his head. And then he swung a dig what I moved out of the way of with a bit of ease. He's just got a little bit of man, uh, small man syndrome, lad. You know what I mean? He's only 5'7", isn't he? So just try to leave the little men to it. Is, is that something that goes through your head in the moment? Okay, let's end it there. Uh, what, what do you make of these comments, Ilya? Hey, man, he saw me and he shit on his pants. He didn't say anything, anything. He was like that. He was eating his eggs or I, I, I don't know what... what what he was eating, maybe a little bit of sperm or something like that. And he saw me and he was like smiling to me and he wanted to, to, to me to shake his hands. I don't, I don't know what, what he wanted from my, from my part. And I saw him, I threw the bottle to his face and then everything started, you know, but he was quiet like a bitch. He didn't say anything. Mm. So, uh, yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. What do you think happens? He's just, just a man in, in Twitter, you know, but this is not Twitter. This is uh, real life. If you want to play like a, a a gangster, be gangster b- by the end. If not, just stay quiet, kid. What happens if you see him in the... You're both in the same hotel, right? Yeah. What happens if you see him again? Mm, the same the same thing. You, you saw in the video, may, 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 maybe... Mm, if I have the chance, I don't know. If they give me the chance to be with him alone in the room, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. And so your desire is, obviously you want to fight this fight on Saturday. You're fighting Jai Herbert. He's a great fighter. But next fight, you want this one, regardless of what happens on yeah. Saturday to you or him. For me, it doesn't matter. He lose or he's, he win. Or for me, it doesn't matter. I want to I wanna fight him. Because I know that's the only way to have him like face to face, man to pussy. So I want to fight. Do you think they'll give you this fight? I don't know if the UFC wants me to make a step back because for me, like I told you before, that fight didn't mean anything. You know, it don't gonna make me move forward or something into rankings and. We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Right now, I'm focused on my fight, so we'll see. I'd be remiss if I don't ask you, uh, you know, we were supposed to see you a couple months ago, and you had to withdraw from the fight. Could I ask you, you know, we haven't talked, we talked right before the fight, you'll remember, in uh, Anaheim. What yeah. happened, what, yeah. what, what went wrong there with the weight cut? So, yeah, I, um, basically, I, I changed the way I, I, I shouldn't, uh, do the weight cut. Uh, I bring too much people with me, you know, and I didn't feel good. The doctors of uh, the UFC doctors come to my room. Uh, they check me. They told me that uh, I was taking a risk for my health. I shouldn't stop uh, the weight cut. And finally, okay. this they stopped me. You know, I didn't feel f- felt good. Okay. How how many more pounds were left? So I had five more more pounds to cut, something like okay. that. Yeah, I don't know. A, a lot of people were, were talking like, I I I miss the weights and bullshit like that, you know. But I, I never show up in in the weight things because if I have to show up there, I, I always I'm I'm always professional. I will make the weight, of course, yes, but. The doctors take the uh, decision, and I had to stop. Did you have to go to the hospital? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and how long were you there for? Oof, I, I was there like for six hours or seven hours. And uh, yeah. 
how long did it take for you to feel okay again? Mm, once I start to, 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 to drink water, I, I start to feel good. Did they say yeah. what went wrong? Like, did they explain it to you? Yeah, because of 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 the uh, this the, the, the dehydration. Dehydration. Yeah. yeah. Because of the, uh, the okay. <laughs> Got it. Um, yeah. I, I mean, mentally for you, you know, because you you were talking about you know your opponent who pulled out prior Mosa, right? Like, how did you deal yeah. with that? That you know, you you're not. You're not familiar with losing, right? You, you've had a great career so far. You're you're yeah. undefeated. So, like, just dealing with that disappointment, how did you handle it? So it was very disappointing because I had uh, like a very hard training camp, one of the hardest training camp I ever had. I spent time, money, everything, but you know, things like this happens. You know, shit like this happens and. I try to see always the positive side of of everything, you know, and it is what it is. I I learn a lot of, from that experience, and this is the most important for me. Uh, afterwards, shortly thereafter, you actually met with Dana White. I saw a photo with you guys together. What did you guys talk about? So basically, they 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 gave me the opportunity to be fighting and and and, and lightweights and and featherweight too. So because for for me it's hard to cut all the time to wait for featherweight, and sometimes I try to stay active, but I can't because of the weight cut. You know, not mm-hmm. because I'm not ready. I'm always ready. My I, my whole life is like a training camp. I'm always training. But because of the weight cut, sometimes I have to take time because it's hard to cut uh, cut the weight all the time, you know. And they give me now the chance to fight in light and, and lightweight too, so it's much easier to me to to be fighting in featherweight and lightweight. And so the the goal is stay active, you know, more active, make three four fights in a year. So could I ask, like, we're less than two days away from the weigh-ins. How much more do you have left? Uh, six pounds. Oh, wow. So this is this will be fine. No yeah. problems. Yeah, no problems. So why yeah, not I'm just eating, stay I'm at 55? Drinking. Yeah. No more uh, 45. Because, uh, because my goal is to, to take that belt because I, 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 I want to take that belt, you know? I want to finish the business I start in 145. I want to kill everyone there and then move up to 155 and go for, for another belt. So your next fight, if you fight Patty, it will have to be at 55 again, right? Yeah. It, that, it, once, it, no weight limits. Right. For me, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, but, so your days of fighting at 45 aren't over, but this one obviously 55 and then... You want that one? Yeah, I, I will. I will be fighting in one forty-five and one fifty-five too. You're gonna see him in in, in both weight classes. Okay. Uh, and uh, finally, before I let you go, like, are you? This was this was a thing. It blew up yesterday. A lot of attention. Are you focused? You feel like it got you a little bit away from the the task at hand. How, how are you doing mentally? Very focused. I I just trained this morning. We're gonna train right now. I'm very focused and ready to get another win. Any uh, final message to Patty since you weren't at the media day today? So I don't want to waste too much words for him. He's just a bitch. That's it. Ilya, thank you, my friend. Good luck with the the weight cut, the training. Always my pleasure, man. Yes. Thank you, man. And good luck on Saturday. Gracias. Thank you, man. All right, there he is. Ilya Toporia, a massive prospect in the UFC, fighting at 155. Of course, he was supposed to fight um, back in January, that Anaheim card.